Hello, and welcome to a Momo Monday here on Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do the Monday, February 20th, 2023 Crossword's and go for that 1,088 day streak. So here is your spoiler alert for the Monday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Uh, apps, Alexa, uh, panel, Perndal, Mr. Blue Sky, uh, Jenny, uh, Jaw. There we go. They're all appetizers. Sort of, sort of making me hungry over here. We've got a Forrest Gump reference, played by Robin Wright Penn, Jenny. Axed and Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Perndle. I like that. All consonants. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Monday Daily Grid, which is by Emily Carroll today. Here is your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Go visit Momo on Instagram at momoco.the.shipa for lots more cute cheapa pics. Anyway, let's see what uh, Emily Carroll has in store for us on this Momo Monday. Let's get into it. Nike Nestle. This is a Blue Jay. Pure Bliss. Most on edge, like Anciest or something. Sergeant is an NCO. And Denzel Washington. That's brand there. Maybe it's Anciest. Uh, I know I spelled that wrong. Those are ETs. Pure Bliss. This is Lance Upton Sinclair. Kitchen Gadget. Juice something. Ecologists, huh? EPA. These are Arealas. Yesum. Rapture. Brand. Sorry, I don't know why I put in bland there. <laughs> These are comics. Enthusiasts. Mag. And the Living Capital is La Paz and Zine there. Protective Molar Layer is Enamel. Come on and class, anemia, sirens, and shell? No, scales. Fruits with pits, and Dr. Dre. Maybe it's dates. This is a chore. Not sure about this actor. Romantic prospect. Is a Tinder date? No. Tinder match? Uh, spam. It is dates, probably. Pastry served is a scone, or a scone. Peseta. This is a pen, net, and cocktail made with whiskey, honey, and lemon. Hot toddy? Sounds good. This is Abyss. Edmonton's province is probably Alberta. Super duper soup scooper is a ladle. Cute clue. Elder. Flowering shove is an azalea. Big name of pretzels. Uh, exclamation at the end of a trip. Oops. Elizabeth Katie Stanton, Snyder's, Stress Ball, Squeeze Toy, these are Poodles, okay, Eric probably, Alay, Does So, could be the Psalms there, Electrical Panels, et voila, ta-da, this is Season, Lawn Chaney, In Utero, To and Fro, XFL, maybe it's Fuse Boxes, Capful, be a cub there, an area, and psalms. Uh, Ursula, uh, beasts, uh, alert, and MBAs. It's a map and a miser. A rose, could be ire there. A P, soap opera, and Z's. All right. I didn't really think about what this is. Electrical panels found in older homes, or what these themers do regarding each half of each answer. They fuse two boxes together. Soap box, opera box, that's like a place where you sit to watch the opera. Juice box, press box. Tinder box, match box. Squeeze box, toy box. What's a squeeze box? What is a squeeze box? Any musical instrument of the general class of handheld bellows, so like an accordion, or a song by The Who, but pro probably uh, something like an accordion. Nice. Uh, we got five themers. That's nice. 
Uh, nice revealer. And nice phrases. Lots of kind of boxes. There are a lot of kind of boxes out there, but... Yeah, Soap Opera, Juice Press, Tinder Match, and Squeeze Toy are themselves all very nice. Let alone the fact that they're all pairs of kinds of boxes, even though I've never heard of a squeeze box. So, yeah, five themers. Nice theme. Uh, also, I noticed quite a lot of uncommon letters while still maintaining Monday smoothness. So that's really quite nice also. I mean, there's a J here. There's a Q and a Z in Squeeze Toy. There's an X. So just in the theme material, you have J, Q, Z, X. But then you've also got this Z in La Paz and Zine. Denzel and Zs. Yeah. I think it's a very nice Monday. Very cute. Very well done. Still managed to make it Monday-ish. Yeah, it's just a, just a well done puzzle. Let's take a look through through the uh, the rest of the fill. See if we can learn something. Upton Sinclair. One of the muckrakers. Is that the class that Upton Sinclair fits into? Yeah. One of the muckrakers. The jungle. But also he wrote oil. Yeah, there's just two Z's in the word jazz. It's very mild, cryptic-ish cluing. A zine. I feel like zines are bygone. <laughs> Nowadays people just start blogs, right? What used to be the world of zines is now the world of blogs, I think. Are there still zines? This is supposed to kind of um, be a misdirect to like an acid trip, I think. Nothing too... Uh, I like this clue a lot on Ladle. Super duper soup scooper. Just cute. Has like an... You know, the, the, the cluing should have some sort of lilt and rhythm to it. Sometimes giving you long, fun clues. Just non-commissioned officer there. Yeah, Bolivia has two capitals. Like an executive one and like a judicial one or something like that. La Paz and Sucre. It's one of the few things I remember from my Jeopardy studying. Yeah, fish has to have, or seafood has to have scales in order to be kosher. It's true. Scone, or a scone as our British friends would say. Yeah, it does so. I guess I don't like stuff like this that much. Does so, are not, are so, am not, am so. It's just all word listy stuff. Don't know about Eric LaSalle. Maybe we should look up Eric LaSalle. What has Eric LaSalle been in that I have seen? Coming to America. ER. I have seen those things, but not much. So I recognize that, sorry, I confess that his face does not look super duper familiar to me. He directed several multiple episodes of SVU, CSINY, and Ringer. All right. Yeah, hot toddy. Sounds pretty good. Sounds almost healthy. Yeah, I've got a Disney reference also. XFL, crossing fuse boxes. Yeah, these, um... These uncommon letters, hard to get around. And we've got ALB. After we had ALBs in the puzzle yesterday at a royal wedding. Uh, yeah, very nice, very nice Monday puzzle. Let's look at some stats where we've got, yeah, pretty normal for a Monday. This number keeps on coming down because uh, because the puzzle is either getting easier or I'm getting better or both, most likely both. Um, but I think 2.30 Monday is about what I look for. Anyway, let me, uh, let me close everything down, come back with the plus word. Alright, here is your spoiler alert for the plus word. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Plus word is free to play. It's like British mini crossword meets Wordle. And each week, because of the uh, New York Times timing, I think I basically I skip a plus word once a week. So, 
Here we go. Frog spawn, I think. Range? Maybe it's stove. Pedestals. Podia? Assists, maybe... Oh, what's the venomous snake going across there? It's gonna be like a cobra, no? Abets, then? Uh, sent down as text. Wrote? Grandmother's nanas. So... Uh, scope, probably. Pitta bread, interesting. So let's put the B and the N here. Urban? Urban. Alright, I was in the, uh... Oh, we didn't have Momo on the plus word, did we? Alright, well, Momo was back. Did we? We didn't. <laughs> Frog spawn. Yeah, you know... Is that a... Frog spawn came to mind for me because of, uh... An episode of Would I Lie to You? Would I Lie to You? A BBC panel show, but I don't think it's actually a Britishism. It's just what you call... Frog eggs. Although, this actually is giving me UK hits, so maybe, maybe it is a... Maybe it is a Britishism. Maybe you just call them frog eggs in, in the US. All that BBC panel show watching I've, I've done in my past has really paid off. Big fan of what I lied to you. Odeon. I mean, I think of this as a Greek word for theater, but I guess... It's also a chain in the UK. Yeah, okay, so we've got several Britishisms. And then Pitta, as opposed to Pita. Pitta bread? What if I do that? Pita or Pitta. Yeah, it is just Pita. British English. Okay, so we've got we've got three British British acrosses. I mean it's a British puzzle. Nanas. Yeah, it's a pretty British plus word today. Luckily, I knew frog spawn. Yeah, all right. Last thing we do here before we go is take a look at the mini leaderboard for tomorrow. Where we've got Herman Chow. Herman Chow, who, by the way, was at the top of my leaderboard yesterday, I believe. The 12-second mini. Shout out to you, Herman Chow. And we've also got Kimball in 27 seconds. Shout out to you, Kimball. Anyway, thanks for watching this Momo Monday. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Tuesday puzzles. See you then.